I'm Mardu Sharma and this is Design Mind. Every episode we teach your mind about design by analysing a website. In this episode of Design Mind, we are looking at the Japanese version of Braun clocks. Many commentators have noted how Braun products are the inspiration for Apple's designs. As we will see, the site is a great example of the bold, clean design that Apple is often associated with. It's quite common for websites to start with a slideshow, but Braun takes the concept to the extreme by consisting solely of a slideshow. The slides use three different techniques. The first is to place the products on a minimalist background, often with dramatic lighting. The second is the arrangement of products in unusual grids, which adds an artistic flair. The final technique is to show the products in everyday settings. There's even this additional approach of showing an old scuffed up briefcase. Braun doesn't actually sell suitcases, so it might seem a bit weird for a prestigious brand to be displaying damaged goods. However, the slide promotes an interview with a pilot, so the suitcase indirectly communicates reliability, as it demonstrates that this pilot has been in the business for a long time, so his endorsement of Braun must carry weight. Despite the variety of slides, they all share the common feature of bold, clean design. There's little text to sell the benefits of the products. Instead, the products stand for themselves. The result is a design that's captivating and has plenty of impact. Some of the slides feature this headline that states, less is better. This is a great way of communicating the brand's ethos. Underneath, the slide contains this lengthy paragraph of text that details the company's history and mission statement. It's quite a peculiar design, as the tiny font size makes it very difficult to read. Plus, the speed of the slideshow means it will only be visible for a few seconds. I think it's less here to convey information, and more to emulate the look of a gallery or high-end magazine, which often have tiny detailed captions placed next to the images. It indirectly sends the message that these products are works of art. Each slide has a details link, and clicking on it takes the user to a separate page that contains more information. Compared to the home pages, these pages are a major disappointment. The image is constrained in a tiny box and has no power or emotional impact, causing the product to feel weak and insignificant. The minimal black and white layout of the page is stylish, but the image completely feels out of place. The poor execution really underlines the strengths of the home page. Not all the pages are weak. This stationary page retains the power and impact of the home page. The way the text seamlessly integrates in the image is wonderful, as the whole layout resembles that of a high-end magazine. However, the design is not without its problems. The text suffers from being too small to read. Plus, although the image does have impact, it lacks a clear focus. The page is about the calculator, but the clocks actually attract more attention, resulting in a mixed message. They've tried to place the headline over the calculator to correct this, but it just ends up being out of the way. Braun doesn't have a mobile version, so let's conclude this analysis by examining the navigation. The navigation on the whole generally works well, often comfortably integrating into the space of the images. However, there are times where it can overlap products, which causes it to look untidy. The navigation does do a good job of distinguishing between primary and secondary links. In conclusion, Braun Japan does an excellent job of illustrating the power of bold, clean design. Just comparing their homepage to the other pages instantly highlights the power large, bold images bring to a site. That's it for this episode of Design Mind. A new episode of Design Mind is released every Monday and Thursday. Find us on the web at designmind.info. Our YouTube channel is at youtube.com slash designmindinfo. You can also find us on iTunes. We'd love it if you could leave us a review at any of these places. Until next time, happy designing!